Hello, Team Hypercube viewers. We are doing dice games this month for Game of the Month, and so I figured I'd come on here and review one of the uh, newer dice games that I played. It's called Roll Through the Ages. Roll Through the Ages is basically a civilization building game where you have custom dice that have like wheat or people on them instead of numbers, and you roll the dice through the ages and figure out which resources you have every turn, and then you spend your resources on various things like building monuments or uh, buying quarries and things like that. As a dice game, I like how it utilized the standard roll and reroll twice mechanic as its main component, but there was a lot more going on with collecting resources that you weren't just solely relying upon the dice as the entire game, like other dice games, which we won't mention here. When we played, we added this storytelling dynamic that we usually add to most games just to uh, liven it up a little bit more. Uh, I think Joe had this warlike civilization that was attacking people, even though that's not really a mechanic in the game. I basically went for all stone or rock-based perks, and I think Eo was building some kind of backwards underground pyramid slash water park. It was really interesting and we all had very different um, styles of play. I have to be honest though, this isn't really my favorite civilization building game. It's not as dynamic or fluid as games like Seven Wonders where you have a lot of cards and there's so many cards that your strategies change every game. So high marks for mobility. You can definitely take this more places than you can games like Seven Wonders. And I also really like the simplicity of the civilization building dice mechanic. Also, if for some reason you absolutely hate the Bronze Age, maybe it slighted you in a different game, or maybe you just are allergic to bronze, there is a standalone version of Roll Through the Ages for the Iron Age, which is possibly more your style. And if for some reason you happen to hate paper and pencil and rolling things, then there's an iOS version of this game as well, I hear. Let me know down below in the comments if you've played this game and what you thought, or tweet us some pictures at Team Hypercube. And don't forget to check out our list of other games on Sublime, where you can potentially win a copy of King of Tokyo, a really crazy dice game where you smash up buildings with monsters not not the not the dice thanks for watching team hypercube out